Hello everybody, welcome to another video. On this video I just wanted to quickly talk about what's in, in the background, the willow tree, um, as an emergency medicine, but you could use it as a home remedy as well. Um, willow trees, there's about 300 different species of them, they all contain uh, the chemical that I'm after. Uh, I'm going to show you how to process it into a medicine. So willow trees contain um, a chemical called salicin, and salicin is basically what's in aspirin. Um, if you think about an aspirin tablet, 400 milligram aspirin tablet, there's about 60 milligrams of that that's salicin. Um, salicin is used for pain relief, obviously, inflammatory conditions, and etc. So it's got a lot of uses. The way I'm going to show you how, today how to process it is uh, basically make a tea. And uh, there's se several different ways you can process this this tree. Uh, I'm sure if you just put types into Google um, willow bark uh, medicine, it will throw out lots of results for you. But today I'm going to show you how to how I make a tea. So the willow tree is quite characteristic in this case. Uh, this is a Babylon weeping willow. So I've asked uh, the person that owns the tree because it's just overhanging the canal here from private property. Um, so I've just asked the owner if I can uh, take a few trimmings and they quite quite was willing to oblige me. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on with it. Okay, so today I'm just using uh, my pruning shears off my bushcraft belt. Ideal for the job for this little task. Rather than take the actual bark itself, I'm just going to take a few, a few trimmings from up here. Some of the thicker ones. So I've got a good, good handful of uh, of the twigs, and uh, now we'll go and process them. First step is to strip the leaves off the off the branches. The best way I find is just grabbing it by the end and run your hand down the uh, down the length of the branch. Okay, so I've got a good handful of willow here. On the larger branches you can actually strip it with your knife. I, I brought my pocket knife but it's not really working because they're a bit a little bit too thin these ones. But you can strip the outer bark off and usually it'll it'll come off no problem. Um, sometimes it'll come off in strips as well. Just make them small enough so they go in the pot. Uh, today all I'm going to do is not going to spend all day stripping the bark off with my knife. I'm just going to crush it with my axe. I'm going to bruise the, the willow branches with, with my axe so that it'll release the salicin. So just find a, a hard surface like I have here and just literally just bruise it all up. Just stick all that in the pot. some water in and then we're going to get that going on the stove I'm going to bring that to the boil and then let it boil a little bit longer um, so that the water evaporates and you get more salicin in that way. So while this is doing its business um, I'll talk a little bit about some apps that you can use. Uh, the first one that I'm going to suggest is called PlantNet, it's a free app. Um, I'll put the little logo icon on the screen now. It has, you do need data to use this app and uh, you can identify uh, plants, trees, all kinds of things um, with this app. Just uh, simply take a photo and then it'll tell you, usually that within the first hit it'll tell you what it is. You can also use photos from your library so if you, want a, if you haven't got internet on your phone and you have to wait till you get home or something, you can take a series of pictures and it'll be able to identify uh, what you've what you've seen, what you've picked, 
um, that way. The other app is one by the, the Woodland Trust, which is a free app. You don't need internet to use this one. Um, just download it again on the, on the Android system. Uh, and this is a really good app for identifying trees. You can do it by fruits, you can do it by leaves. Um, there's, you know, you, or you can just do A to Z. So yeah, there, there are a couple of apps, but um, like I say guys, be absolutely confident that you know what you're picking, you know what it is uh, before consuming it. Right, okay, so the thing that I do love about this pot is the fact that it's got a, a bail arm, a handle, and you can also, in here, it's, it's got holes so you can actually strain stuff, so here we go. Just have a look in the pot. Similar colour, it has discoloured the water as you would expect. Right, okay, <clears throat> it has brewed, it's cooled down a little bit. And surprisingly enough, you know when you put a, an aspirin tablet in your mouth and you don't swallow it straight away and you get kind of a, a taste, it tastes just like that, just like aspirin. Not a nasty taste, just tastes kind of a medicine-y taste I suppose. Right okay guys, so that's all about the willow tree and uh, salicin. If you're allergic to aspirin or you're pregnant, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't suggest you use this. Um, make sure you get your identification right. And you can also use books, reference books, and uh, the apps that I've just talked about. Uh, and also the internet. It's a huge, huge library, really. Um, so that's it for this one. I will be doing more medical plants. I'll be also be doing some wild edibles very soon. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Ta-da now.